Suarez, uh, I, I also would like to give you a stage, a place yeah. here to talk more about um, educational technology dissemination uh, as you are the coordinator. So um, can you please share your screen and uh, share some thoughts with yeah, us? Sure. What are you thinking, considering? And uh, then later on, we open for questions. Okay, first, uh, I would like to thank you, Ana Flavia, and uh, for the invitation to be the the DECA coordinator education dissemination of knowledge in the EDK, EDK, say, uh, coordinator, because it was, to say, uh, a challenge, because my experience was not so large on that, and also support from Camilo too, and also all the members from the executive committee, okay? And that's very important, okay? Second point, I would like to thank all the staff from CINE, from Junior, Mari, Beatriz, Jacqueline, Miguel, and Veronica, because without them, my work was not been possible. We want to believe at the end why I am saying that. Okay, some of them are more involved with connect with the education dissemination of knowledge, and then some of them a bit less, but all of them is part of the, our effort. Okay, and then I will talk here about our achievements from challenge and future plans, what I can say from my perspective. Okay, first point that I want to address is the following. Uh, the education activities, we, are, we address those activities in four pillars. And then the, four, the first pillar, what I would say, this was the first one to start, are the uh, program workshops, scene pro workshops. And those workshops are organized and promoted by the programs. So we have four programs, as you can see here, I show a few pictures. They started the presential workshops and then after that, moved to online workshops as we are doing this conference. And then this was really impressive and plays a, plays a, really plays a critical role for the education, scientific discussion, and so on, because they are doing at a smaller size and then really plays a role. And then, second pillar that was introduced last year, 2020, is the senior webinar. This was a suggestion from Ana Flavia Nogue, our director, and then we put in place and make it to work. And then we have the idea to invite, uh, to say, reference scientists in the world, and then to speak for the senior community and the external community too. All the talks are available at the YouTube channel from CINI. And then I show here just here four figures that indicate the level of our speakers. Professor Prahant Kamati, Professor uh, Beatrice Simon, okay, Nigel Brando, and so on. All, all of them are referenced on their field as the leader in the world, okay? So just look those least rough to say the best scientists, most cited, and so on in the world, okay? The third pillar was introduced this year, that of our scene talks. This pillar is the pillar in which the members from scene speak for the community, senior community, and beyond. Those talks are to say every year we're going to select eight speakers from two for each team, and then we're going to have it every year. And then just now, in the next month, we're going to start to select the list of the now next eight speakers, okay, for the next 2020. And then what is important to say here is the following. Some of the workshops are in Portuguese or English Portuguese. Some of the workshops are entirely in English. The senior webinars are entirely in English for the full for the work community to see to you want to follow. And the senior talks, most of them are provided delivered in Portuguese. Okay. And then the third, the fourth, um, now everyone is asking for the next pillar, because most of you know the three pillars. This next one is coming from 2012. Are the senior summer with the school. The idea here is that to invite two, three, or four experts in a particular technical field, and then they are going to deliver one, two, three, four, five lectures on a specific talk for the student community interested in that particular talk. We have several talks that, to say, is a common background for most of the senior programs. Okay, and this is quite is coming in. Okay, for 2022, on February, March, and then after this workshop, I am going to invite the speakers. Of course, no one of them 
normally is to say it's a good pleasure to be there, but once we receive the, the email from the EDK, from EDK, then it's a nice uh, email. Then moving on, we have now the knowledge dissemination from senior. How, the, how you organize the structure? First point, we have a site that was completely reconstructed from the last year, 2020, from to this year. And then now our site is complete. We have a version in Portuguese and English, our news, everything, double Portuguese and, and English, address both international and national communities. And every information, if you want to have a reliable information from CINI, from the governance infrastructure structure, members, laboratories, publication, event, opportunities is on this site. Well, when I was preparing this conference, preparing this talk, so preparing this talk, the photos that I pick up from the, the members are the ones that are there. If you don't like it, you just ask to exchange as soon as you can. Then we have a newsletter that every month, every senior member and all secretary members that subscribe for our senior webinars receive a newsletter from senior. Every month in Portuguese, every two months in English, and also send out sent for the International Device Board. Every month, two months, they were going to receive a newsletter in English, out of the community, okay? And also every month in Portuguese, okay? And then this newsletter is organized by Veronica, that's our scientific journalist that provides support for our, our team, okay? And then we are at the hour for most important social medias, Twitter. We are there with news every week, every day we have some news concerning scene. LinkedIn, more like a professional network where you can connect with the world. We are there. Facebook, we are there with news every day. You can follow this conference there and see what is happening or the most recent news and Instagram. What is important here, the strategy is the following. We use English as a language, as a default language for Twitter and LinkedIn and Portuguese as a default language for Instagram and Facebook, because we want to address different communities. The LinkedIn, we are addressing the world, okay? The Twitter, too, more like Instagram, more like Facebook, is more connected to the locals here in Brazil. But it's very important that this provides a framework for us how to disseminate the news. So take one point further. We are talking about this that is beyond of the scientific publication, okay? Scientific publications, every research is doing by themselves the best journal they can. Okay? Then, inside of the newsletter, we have the dissemination of articles. Here's the picture from Veronica, scientific journalist, also scientific journalist. She is working on Caxias do Sul. Means we are working online day by day, and then with a very tight connection, talking every day. And here are several of her articles that was written. Those articles that appear in the newsletter is very important point here. Those articles are also disseminating for past news and many agencies for news is asking for us for news because when they know that now we are referencing new engines in Brazil and then we are disseminate all those articles for us written by the world. Those articles important point is the following. Once a, important, once a paper is accepted in an important magazine or not important magazine, we select a few papers from the programs that every month they want to write two articles for the disseminate this, this study for the, to popularize the science concerned inside of the community. Okay, and this will be used for past and so on. This is a very important job that's done by Veronica and plays a very important role for us to at CINI. And then we have some special programs, what they call special programs because those programs, they will happen sometimes with a, with, a, with a regular frequency and sometimes not so much regular. In the last, end of the last year, with the support for our city members, we take part, and me as an editor, or in editor in chief of the revista, uh, the magazine Consciencia, okay, from the Unicamp, okay, in which we wrote about, I think, almost 10 articles with the different topics, comes from hydrogen, to my computation material science, hydrogen um, uh, energy storage in battery supercapacitors, methane conversion, and so on, that was published in this magazine 
and it has uh, access by the, this is a magazine, a long history magazine for Unicamp, can be accessed for everyone in Brazil. It was written in Portuguese, which is very important here is the following. We received several contacts along of this year with some editors from the students book, from the fundamental uh, school, high school, asking us permission to use part of the discussion of those articles to be used on their textbooks as material for like you know, in the direction of energy innovation. And this is very important. We are reaching, just keep in mind one point here. One part of the test of these articles, so one of them is put in a book, for the high school book. It means it stay there forever, okay? And that is very important. You're going to reach a far away reach. You're going to be used to be discussed in the school of students, being discussed by the students and so on. And this is very important. And then you can assess this material on the link here that I provide here, Consciencia, and look for the senior articles there, that we are there. And beyond of that, we have the goal to have our own magazine from senior, and with at least one publication per year when you summarize the most important articles that we obtain along the year. And then we expect to deliver that in 2022, okay? And then here, we have the problem that CINI goes to school. Can we go to school now because we are most on the online homework, online, online work? Uh, no, it's hard. It's also, also not safe. However, we did that online. And then with an initiative that started by Ana Flavio Nogueira, we have, a, we have a partnership with Porto Seguro from Panavipo in Sao Paulo. It's a very safe, it's an important high school in Sao Paulo, in Sao Paulo City. And we, we, with our team here, because I, myself, I am not expertise in the lab, but both of you know that I do computational material science, okay? My skills in the lab with those, those small devices are really, really lower, okay? But then with the support from Gustavo Dobeck from the, from the Batteries team, Cheyenne, Ciron, and Francine, we, they are working together with the student from Porto Seguro with online support to build up prototypes of solar energy application to make a small car to move or to make a charger for a cell phone. As a bus stop, they was, they make a prototype, not a prototype, make a, um, how to say, a small structure that show how it works uh, as a concept of idea. And then the hydrogen application for free cell, okay? And this is really uh, involved because it takes, uh, you talk to the student and see how, what are the students' view, what they are really, what are their dreams. We have, in that particular case, we try to inspire them how to connect with science because most of the case, we like, we like the technology. This is the, uh, the final result of the, te of the basic science. But basic science is hard. And sometimes we need to inspire those students how to get in and really to dream to do it better. And then final one, other, not final, but we have a special project, Cine Podcast. Now, you can go to the, the, the social media from Cine. You are going to have the first episode of the Cine Podcast, New Airs. It's a 10, it's a program with 10 episodes. Okay, we interview, was interviewed several faculty members, several researchers from Cine, from Ana Flavia, from myself, Fabio Coral Fonseca, André Ferralto, uh, Hudson, Gustavo Beck, and so on. Okay, a long list, machine learning too. And then we have every 15 days, you want to have the pleasure to see our social media and listen our podcast. It's going to be in the spot here. And this will be an inspiration for our undergraduate students to build up their own podcast about their paper. Once one of the papers is accepted, they can build up a podcast and we're going to disseminate that in our uh, media, social media. Now come the question, but how do the students can do a podcast and they don't have the training? Look, we think about everything. When they, we have the organization of those of this particular project podcast, the Eliana, 
is the one that is a, a, a professional journalist who worked podcast for many years, worked for bands for different TVs in Brazil. She provided training to lectures for our students, for all the students that was interested on that particular topic, how to build that podcast. And we want to explore that for our students for the future. And then now I'll come to the point. As every of you know, scene is composed by a set of groups that are distributed in Sao Paulo State. The digital transformation is, a, is a, it's already arrived for a long time. The COVID just showed that we was behind, we was not using it properly. Now we with the COVID, we learn, forced by the COVID, we learn how to explore it means how can we transform? How can you improve? How can you move further to improve education in the same nation by the next door to transformation? This is a very important because I am here in some Carlos, uh, a lot of, most of you is in Campinas, Sao Paulo, in different parts of this in Brazil and also in the world. And the digital transformation is a key point here. And then I come to the final conclusion, my conclusion and also the challenge. First, we have a very, the most important thing that I can say here is the full. Today, SIN has a structure, how it wants to provide education, how it wants to provide integration, education, science discussion, knowledge dissemination, and also a special project to reach further, to reach students, okay? Then we have a structure, a framework for that. Okay, it's quite well established already. We have got to improve and polish and go further. Now comes the challenge. The first challenge is how to think education, knowledge dissemination at short, medium, and long term goals. Plans, action, results. Meaning, because as you can see here, the Windy School, the Summer School is part of our goals, but those is, we want to start in 2012, 2022. 2022, because the following reason, we cannot do everything at the same time. It's important to prioritize and to provide what's the plan, the action, the result, what you want to reach and to get. That's very important. It means is how to be successful in that. Second, second change that I see here from my side is the following. The equilibrium between expectations and real results. As a coordinator of the of the education law dissemination, most of the case, I try to equilibrate between demand, goals, and result, and real result. We have to have a compromise. This equilibrium is really a challenge because we cannot fulfill everything at once. We need to have a really a good structure, how to reach each part at a, at a particular point. The, like, but in the program, the podcast show that particular case. We started now. We expect the students to get motivated. We want to do their own podcasts, and we want to deliver a second row of podcasts in 2023. It means we have a we have a plan, we have an action, but also also has a dream that we have to fulfill it. But the equilibrium is really important here. And the third, the final challenge from that I see inspire effective teamwork. Because as a coordinator, I am just put the, just move my fingers around, but how to inspire effective teamwork from the staff and also from the faculty members that take part for the student life. Simple. The scene, scene summer with the school is not going to happen because I want there to deliver all the talk. No, I need to inspire the participation of different members. Cine, cine talks, the same. Cine programs, the same thing. We want to make a cine magazine. We just need to inspire and to inspire the, the teamwork, how those people are going to work together because we are built up cine. It means it's like this figure here to show. We need the effort for everyone doing a small part to reach it. However, to reach that level, we need to inspire. We need to inspire every member from cine. What I talk about here is like the coordinator of education and knowledge dissemination. And with that end, I'd last want to conclude and open for questions. Incredible talk and the very good achievements. Uh, Juarez, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, we have uh, at least two questions here. Um, Flavia Cassiola, awesome job, Juarez. Very impressive. The work is spreading in the knowledge uh, in the scene. Congratulations. How is the response you have seen in re regarding the assess, statistics, assessment, and different source? And um, what were the biggest surprises you have noticed? I will combine it with uh, the Leonardo one, um, the, the other questions. Is there any effort to move forward public sc uh, schools concerning open door university programs we usually have? Um, feel free to answer it. Okay, first, concerning the statistics. Yes, we have the statistics. Our access on the social media have increased substantially since 2020 is moving steadily, okay? And uh, as much as you publish more good, good, good uh, to say, uh, studies, good news on the social media, we are getting return from that. The type of return is different from different ones. We are gonna get a lot of citations and uh, use of our information in different, to say, uh, websites in the internet, because based on the, the IS to use our new that is published in the popularization articles, like the whole, when you publish a paper, when you publish an article, it appears on the outside, appears in FAPESC, a different magazine also wants to use it too. And this is spread, okay? Flows very fast. This is important. Uh, but the numbers are, for example, so when you start the, the chain of YouTube 2020, we have about only one, uh, nearly 300 members following, not 300 members, you have a followers on the YouTube. Today is near to reach 750, 800. For example, we have uh, some talks that are seen in webinars on the YouTube. They start with the first day there with 200 views. They go up to 1,500 because they stay there. Means we have to say it's like a library. Because oh, a member from you join scene today, okay, but all the talks for the scene webinars are there. Means you can follow up, and this is very impressive. Concerning the open doors, we start, we have the goal to go to open doors. In 2022, the only also the USP, also different uh, federal universities in, in Sao Paulo State, has open door programs. The idea is the following: once they have happened open door, we wish that the faculty member that in this particular university he open his group and show what scene does. It's not only the hobby, because every, in every place there that we wish there is a scene member. Scene is there. And this person is also in charge to show what is seen for the locals, for the university, for the world too. This is from what my view. I mean, scene is not all, every place in which there is a member, scene is there. So we should take advantage of that. That's that's an incredible uh, point of view. And uh, I share the same idea as you. So uh, it's, it's hard to motivate, but it must to be inside everybody this motivation. Uh, you're completely right. Here it is. It's awesome. <music>